globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency. Super male vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super male vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico, where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee. And it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. You've got the life straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The KTOR hand crank generator to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic relocation, third edition by Joel Skousen. When disaster strikes by Matthew Stein. Therosafe used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand crank shortwave AM FM radios. Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarsShop.com and your purchase makes our InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you? InfoWarsShop.com Aborted babies incinerated to heat UK hospitals. Soylent Green, ladies and gentlemen, is made out of people. But now children are literally being passed through the furnace in order to fuel hospitals in the UK. They're being sacrificed on the altar of efficiency and prosperity. What is the secret of Soylent Green? The powdered flesh from dead babies. Some people believe they can cure disease. Because of its enormous popularity, Soylent Green is in short supply. Remember, Tuesday is Soylent Green Day. The supply of Soylent Green has been exhausted. You must evacuate the area. Today is Tuesday! The federal court ruled that the shareholders of PepsiCo, big Bilderberg Group company, are not allowed to know uh, what they're using the baby parts for in the flavoring, but we already know. So enjoy the flavor. We're going to get the real solution, which is going to be a combination of death panels and, and sales taxes. I'm consistently pro-death. I'm for assisted suicide. I'm for regular suicide. I'm for whatever gets the freeway moving. Is spending a million dollars on that last three months of life for that patient, would it be better not to lay off the, those 10 teachers and to make that trade up in medical costs? But that's called the death panel. Uh, and you're not supposed to have that discussion. They told me to, uh, to say that they were sorry, but that you had become unreliable. <laughs> Is this the kind of society that you want to live in? Any kind of society that would do this to its children will do it to its senior citizens. It will do it 
to its dissidents. That kind of society will also eventually turn on its police, on its army, on its prison guards, on the quislings and the collaborators who make that possible. This is nothing but a suicide cult. The scoops are on their way. The scoops are on their way. I repeat, the scoops are on their way. You will find out why Soylent Green means life. You will find out why Soylent Green means death. We've got to stop them. What Come on. is the it's secret so of Soylent Green? Soylent Green is people! They'll be breeding us like cattle for food. You gotta tell them. The New World Order is based on the destruction of humans. An inverted satanic system. You sign on to this, you sign on to your own death warrant. That's what's so ridiculous about it all. Why would anyone want to be part of this? And they're building a world that's unsustainable to make this self-fulfilling prophecy come true and make us fail in their hatred of humanity, letting the worst of us run things, instead of trying to build unlimited civilization, unlimited art, unlimited beauty. But with that comes virtue and freedom, and they don't want that free will. Break with the new world order. Break down and give in to the goodness. Start your journey in your heart to loving freedom and to deciding you're going to research the world and how it really works. And you will discover the truth. But it's a journey you've got to consciously decide you're going to make. And facing this evil, if you don't believe in God, folks, you should. I, I'm not saying you're going to find God in most of these churches. I mean, these things are establishment they have been infiltrated by the world. They have been taken over. Across the board, they're very bad. Even good churches still are afraid of the system and won't warn the people. They're very rare. Somebody like Chuck Baldwin, who's a pastor and is attacked by the ADLs and the Poverty Law Center, a hundred years ago would be a moderate. All he's doing is preaching the Constitution, Bill of Rights, in a biblical perspective. Watch his sermons. They're just a standard preacher. But in a world of universal deceit, telling the truth is a revolutionary act, and it scares the system. It scares the system when we talk about everything our forebearers did, the good, the bad, the ugly the beautiful, the strong, the pure of heart, the wicked, all of it in this quest to decide the world we've built. You don't live that long, folks. Life's like that. But the sum aggregate of human development and literature and ideas and all of it is the quest. That's 100%. You can debate religion. You can debate God. You can debate it all. But we're together in this human experience. Because I am a lover, I am a fighter. The saying, I'm a lover, not a fighter. The greatest fighters are the greatest lovers. All the cowards that try to kneel at the black altars of hate and evil, seeking power, are weak. They only have power in this world because we give it to them. We don't realize our own innate strength and how powerful God is shining through us. The enemy fears you. That's why they've poisoned your mind and your body from birth. That's why you've been a, under attack from the time you were conceived into this dimension. From the foundations of our species, wickedness has been waging war on the potential that is God's creation. God's masterwork. Are we going to let the New World Order continue to mutilate and defile and desecrate and engage in galactic vandalism? Or are we going to take up the birthright that we've been given? These churches 
are all there to make you feel guilty and bad all day so you'll feel like you're evil so that really evil people can run things. The devil is the accuser constantly telling you how sinful you are, how bad you are, how you're not fit to be a parent, how you're not fit to be a leader, how you're not fit. So you'll sit in the ditch while the evil people take over the road and take control of the society. What matters is your heart. You choose good. You love good. You love justice. You feel bad when you do wrong. You repent. And then you go out and you do good because it's in your heart. This is the secret to life. This is what we must do. Satan is the adversary. The accuser. The serpent. The devil. Let's go to your phone calls. Alex in Missouri, thanks for holding. I appreciate it. You're on the air. Welcome. You were on George uh, Nori last night, right? Yes, sir. And you said you wanted to find out what uh, <sighs> made you and your father sick, what possibly killed your uncle and uh, your other relative and your three friends, right? Yes. All right. I think I have something for you here. Uh, have you ever heard of Scoopified? I know there are a lot of really bad funguses out there, and the doctors say that's contributing. No, Scoopified is a uh, it's it's a catalog uh, uh, magazine type thing. And uh, no, I, mean, I haven't heard of Scoopified. I'm just I'm just guessing. Scoopified. So oh, Scoopified. 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 S C O O P. Okay, what is it? Tell me. I E D. F I E D. All right, what they've got is in their December 2013 issue says based on classified documents leaked. This will only take a minute leaked by a source currently serving in a very high position with the Department of Defense. The following has been revealed. Nano devices have been dispersed through the public water supply, through bottled water, and through the food supply. The leaked documents indicate that an estimated 87% of the population are currently infected with at least one of these nano devices. The government's goal is 98%. They expect this to, to be achieved uh, possibly by January 2014. The sociopathic forces within the U.S. government plan to use this system in conjunction with a planned economic collapse uh, and the institution of martial law. The nano device itself will not hurt you until they activate it with a radio signal. The plan is not to kill the entire population, but to use it as a form of crowd control to put down uprisings or riots when the collapse happens. Once everyone has this nano device in them, they can use drones to fly over trouble areas, activate the nano device, and cause a flu outbreak with a 98% fatality rate. That is why the use of drones over the U.S. is being so heavily pushed. We are already seeing strange, isolated flu outbreaks, killing hundreds of people. For details, visit www.cosmicawareness.org, uh, attention-urgent. And uh, there's also one other one that you can check. It's uh, for a grand expose on the federal government's overreach and unconstitutional behavior. Visit www.youtube.com slash watch question mark V equals NXG. No, no, that's fine. It, it, it's generally better just to get the name of a video because nobody's able to get those. But listen, I really appreciate your call. God bless you, sir. Well, what I know is this, and I know the site you're talking about. The problem is whether that's science fiction or real. And I've actually read that before. I remember that last year. It doesn't matter because the Sunshine Project 15 years ago, based in Austin, it's like WikiLeaks, got declassified Marine Corps documents that the Marine Corps freaked out on how to reclassify. This ended up being in the newspaper. The Marine Corps actually went to their headquarters and threatened them. The, the professors at UT, I had them on. It was UT professors running it. And it's a plan with helicopters, uh, including remote control drone helicopters, waiting with nerve gas on board over every major city to launch and kill everybody. Now, the declassified documents dealt with opiate knockout gases that they estimate would still kill more than 10% of the population with fires, car wrecks, explosions. Like in the movie Close Encounters, the third kind, where the helicopter flies over and sprays the knockout gas uh, on, on all the uh, you know, people and, and the farm animals. That, that's really, this is how out of control the government is. I mean, they're not just going to radiate troops and give them nerve gas. They're not just going to inject people with syphilis for 45 years. They're not just taking blood from a baby at birth. They're doing it all. And yes, uh, 
all nanotech is is a search biological